Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory restore an HP Elite Book to factory default settings on your HP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial if you're running Windows 10. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to proceed to type in Reset. Best match in the Start menu should hopefully say Reset this PC. Just want to left click on that one time. Now in this new screen underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started. Now I would recommend having a backup of any of your important files saved to external media before proceeding any further in this tutorial. So underneath choose an option, we're going to do a complete factory reset. So we're going to select remove everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So left click on that. Okay, so next option, if you're going to be keeping your computer, I would recommend selecting just remove my files, which is quicker. And then the second option, if you're going to be donating it and you want to clean the drive, I would suggest that for you guys. But for most people, the first option of just removing your files will be sufficient. So I'm going to select that for this tutorial here. And then the final confirmation we're going to have to agree to will say ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to begin the process. Again, will take some time. Please be patient and once we get back to some more prompts that need to be addressed, I will jump back in to this tutorial.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit.
Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So it looks like our HP Elite Book has been restored back to factory settings or factory state on our computer. So feel free to put any programs back on your computer at this point. would recommend creating a restore point as well once you have your computer set up how you like it. Just general good practice. And you should be about ready to go at that point. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.